Okay, guitar solo. This song, pretty good. You can really tell that it's a product of its time. 大家好，我是 Joe Creator。今天我们要听海豹乐队。This is some of China's first rock music. They are a rock band. They come from the 80s slash the 90s. And as it says here, this first album that they released cannot be ignored in the history of Chinese rock music. It made Black Panther 海豹乐队。The highest-selling rock band in the Chinese world at the time. That was in 1992. So I'm interested. Obviously, UK really was the birth and had the golden era in the 70s, 80s of rock music, and then that sort of started to spread around, become popular elsewhere. But I haven't listened to anything from China. I think that will sound like Hai Bei. Wait, wait. So I'm interested to listen to this one. This song is called Wu Di Zi Rong, or in English, Shameful. So without further ado, let's listen. Oh, I also wanted to say that、uh, yeah, things are looking pretty messy right now, and there's less guitars here.、Um, that's because at the moment、uh, I'm moving house, hopefully. So、uh, everything is just a mess. We're packing everything up. Let me know if you want to see a little bit of maybe a vlog or something about、uh, my house move. It's quite a big deal. So maybe if you want, I can share a bit of info on that with you guys. But anyway, back to the video. Got that classic old school guitar distortion. That really old feeling of、um, recording. A good drive to it. <laughs> yeah, the outfits, man. Definitely hear that this was inspired by a British rock that sort of came in the decade or so before. <laughs> And it even has a synth element as well in it. Hard pan lead guitars. <laughs> Even the music video is just so old school. Again, I think this is something. Obviously, it's been kind of you know, getting down with the groove so far and everything. But this section really lightens things up. It's a lot happier. You have the chorus with the backing singers coming in as well. Really changes the mood of the song halfway through. And again, I just think that that happens quite a bit as well in British rock. You just have those different sort of clashing feelings that can come around, and this really uplifts the mood. <laughs> Has a bit of crowd participation there as well. You know, it's designed just for that. Oh 
Okay, guitar solo. Nice. So there you have just like very simple, like very bluesy, bendy, pentatonic stuff. But I love that it gets a little bit naughty towards the end there. You know, you just have that rising chord and we just completely leave the key. And uh, yeah, that makes that little bit stand out. And I like that. I love that bit. This switch up here is to this chorus. Also, I like it. And here we go, half time and slower. Let those guitar chords ring out. Yeah, come around for another chorus. So popular at the time to use effects like that. I like that you have a little bit here where the synth takes the lead. <laughs> Classic. So I can totally see why this band got so popular. I think they must have been doing something really that not a lot of other Chinese, Chinese singing bands were doing at the time. And I think with the influence there of British rock and roll, this song, pretty good. You can really tell that it's a product of its time. It has these distorted guitars. It has these really sort of simple drums that are just really driving these, these rock drums. And then it just has all those little bits that I spoke about. You know, you have the palm muted distortion going through the first bit. You have the half time where you open up the chords in the guitar, let them ring out, slow the drums down, have the synth in there. You've got the guitar solo in there. just super bluesy pentatonic scales the vocals you have that sort of strained almost not not whiny but the strained uh higher voice that comes out you know it's at the higher point of his register going through um there's not too much uh, melody going on in the voice but you just have that raspy sort of distorted point of him pushing his voice out and sort of straining on it which again super popular for this genre of music at around this time. And then the reason that the song keeps interest is you have this palm muted sort of continual guitar rhythm here. But 
then in the chorus where it sort of goes up in a more positive feeling to the music. You change the rhythm and make it a lot more bouncy, a lot more staccato. And I think that that really allows the chorus to come through. And those backing vocals really allow it to open up as well. The lyrics actually, I think here aren't anything too special. I think that they are just there to show that kind of simple, raw emotion that goes along with the music to give it some sort of simple story, simple meaning to it. Nothing crazy going on there, but I really like how they integrate the sound of the lyrics into the song. It basically, the rhythm and the feeling of the vocals sort of come before the lyrics for me. And I think that can be shown by, you have the last two bits of the line from the chorus, which is the war, but obviously they can change that war into the backing vocals, have it as a shout. And that is really what the lyrics are there to do. Just make them, make them cool, make them a bit edgy, make them a bit like, you know, emotional, bit of turmoil in there. Adds a little bit more grit, a little bit more drive to the song. And then finally, just that sound that they produce. The store guitars, which are classically done, that dirty, but kind of thinner sound. You have just mics over the drums to record it. There's nothing there to make it too perfect or to change the sound it's all just raw you know the recording is aimed to be like you're there with them just in the room and i really have a bit of a nostalgic feeling for that kind of sound coming from a rock band so guys yeah this is definitely of its time but i think that i understand why they are regarded as china's sort of most important rock band to come out at that time i think that they did a really great job of taking that kind of british rock sound and translating that into their own sound does it hold up today yes i think it does as a classic you know it's not breaking any boundaries nothing that i heard there has gone whoa i've never heard anything like that sound before because obviously the inspiration that it draws from makes it so so anyway guys Thank you very much for watching. Please tell me what you think of this band down in the comments. Have you heard anything else from them? I know for a while they had Do Wei as their lead singer, I think, but then they got rid of him. I don't know what that changed or anything. So a little bit of history there going on with the band as well. But yeah, let me know what you think of this song. Is it something that you listened to growing up? Just tell me your stories about it and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.